The multi-wash range offers high quality cleaning performance, versatility, ease of use, product quality and durability. The multi-wash will wash, mop, scrub and dry on both hard and soft floor coverings in one single pass. Please read the full user instructions before using this machine and check that your supply voltage corresponds with that marked on the rating label on the rear of the machine. In your multi-wash box you should receive the following items. The base part of the machine, supply cord and cable retainer, two handle tubes, top handle and pull cable, two knobs, two screws, four washers, two caps, allen key, two standard brushes. Remove the elastic that holds the bottom handle to the machine body. With the machine facing away from you, insert the two tubes into the bottom handle, ensuring they are assembled according to their marked position, left and right, and that the cable holding hooks are pointing towards the rear of the machine. Secure the handle tubes using the two washers and two knobs. Tighten using the Allen key. Slide the supply cord retainer onto the tube on the right hand side from the operator's position. Secure the supply cord to the tube by passing through the plastic guides. To assemble the top handle, ensure the label is facing the front of the machine. Fit the handle over the two tubes. Secure the top handle using the two washers and two screws. Tighten using the Allen key. Insert the caps to cover the screws. The Allen key can be stored on the handle tube as shown for convenience. Pass the free end of the pull cable through the plastic guides. Press and twist the pull cable clockwise to firmly secure the cable end to the solution tank. To remove the packaging from the brushes, slide out the brush shafts, lift up the tank and remove the brush, discarding the cardboard packaging and then replacing the brush and the brush shaft. Repeat these steps for the second brush. Your machine is now ready for use. Check that the brushes are fitted correctly. Fill the solution tank with mixed water and approved cleaning chemical according to the chemical manufacturer's instructions. The Multiwash 240 model has a 1.2 litre solution capacity and the Multiwash 340 model has a 1.7 litre solution capacity. The transport working mode control is located on the right hand side of the machine from the operator's position. When using the machine, slide the knob to the top position. This is working mode, which lowers the brushes to the floor. When you're not using the machine or transporting the machine, slide the knob to the bottom position. This is transport mode, which lifts the brushes off the floor. Please ensure transport mode is selected when the machine is not in use to avoid damage to the brushes. The brush pressure level is located on the left-hand side of the machine from the operator's position. The lowest position is for minimum brush pressure and the highest position is for maximum brush pressure. Changing the brush pressure to the highest position can compensate for the wear of the brushes and also control the scrubbing effect. The on-off control is at the back of the machine and by pressing the foot pedal lightly and pulling back the handle, the motor will start. The solution discharge control is situated on top of the handle. The motor overload button is situated at the rear of the machine, just above the foot pedal. Fully unwind the supply cord from the cable storage wrap and plug into a convenient socket outlet. Select the brush pressure level required and change the machine to working mode. Start the machine by pressing the pedal and pulling back the handle. The brushes and drum will also start to rotate. To stop the machine, bring the handle back to the upright position. 
Move forward while sparingly pulling on the solution discharge control handle. By pulling the lever up, cleaning solution is dispensed onto the floor. The solution will stop once the lever is released. This shouldn't be kept pulled all the time. The duration and frequency should be adjusted to suit the floor type and extent of dirt. The working principle of the multi-wash scrubber dryer is that the counter-rotating brushes scrub the floor and also throw the dirty water onto the conveyor drum. The front brush does most of the scrubbing and drying. The rear brush completes the scrubbing and collects the remaining water off the floor. A blade fitted to the recovery tank wipes the drum and collects the dirty water. Cleaning liquid in the solution tank is applied to the floor by gravity. Stop releasing the solution approximately 30 cm before the end of the cleaning path and continue to move to the end of the cleaning path without pulling the solution control handle to ensure all solution is picked up. Pull the machine backwards along the same cleaning path but without discharging the solution. Move the machine forward and repeat, slightly overlapping the previous pass. If you're working in a large area, take a U-turn and move forward. In the event the motor is overloaded due to either improper power supply or an unexpected obstruction to the brush or drum rotation, the overload protector trips and protects the motor from any damage. If this happens, unplug the machine and identify the problem. Once corrected, plug the machine into a socket outlet and reset the motor overload button after a minimum of 30 seconds. There are optional accessories available with the multi-wash range. A trolley is available for easy transportation between cleaning areas and a side brush for improved cleaning against walls. Subject to model, there are a number of different brushes available, including hard brushes for cleaning hard floors, soft brushes for cleaning carpets, and escalator brushes for cleaning escalators. After use, remove and rinse out the solution tank with clean water to remove dirt and sediment. Replace the solution tank onto the machine. Fill the solution tank with clean water and use the machine to flush through any remaining sediment and clean the machine. Empty both the recovery and solution tanks and rinse, placing to one side. Unplug the machine from the plug socket outlet and wrap the supply cord around the cable winder, ensuring the plug is not trailing on the floor. Check for any damage to the supply cord whilst doing so. Wipe down the machine including the drum roll. Rinse both brushes, checking regularly for any wear and tear. If replacement is required, both brushes should be replaced at the same time. Replace solution and recovery tanks. Set your machine to transport mode. Store the machine in a dry indoor area only.